Leave it by the gate, please! Right. This God, you must have gotten here so early. Well, there was a seventh grade cotillion class happening, but I called in a bomb threat. Bad. I've taken the liberty of laying out a few lesson plans. This way I won't be caught off guard again. I'd hate to cause a scene. I think you actually do want to cause a scene. I do think that. As I see it, we have a few pretty good options to choose from. Let me know if any of these spark joy. So we have peacocking, homie hopping, queen blazing, when to fedora, and why. How to prematurely ejaculate and rally, choosing a new shirt, choosing a new laugh, the ancient art of sexting during Hanukkah. Stop it! I'm not even halfway done. That's why I want you to stop. Ruby, don't you see these lessons are paralyzing you? Huh, that's interesting, I didn't. Keep talking, I'll take some notes. No more notes. <gasps> Focus on one thing, one thing only, being confident, that's it. Mm. Faux bravado. No bravado. Genetic oiling? Just be yourself. Christ, Ruby, you live in a nice house. I don't know how you have so much money, but you do. I'm a webmaster. I manage websites for my parents and their wealthy friends. Okay, embrace that, I guess, and try not to worry about all this stuff. I don't want it rubbing off on my students. Master? Mini master? Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's good. This is crazy. What is that, a curtsy? More than enough bowing, guys. Thank you. Don't have to do it at all, let alone so many times. I brought the uh, turkey baster. Ah, very good, young sperm. Why? Ruby said that today we are to learn the hallowed tradition of queen glazing. Are we to bring our own hens? What are you talking about? No, hen no, no, I have the hens, I have the hens. We might have a surplus. Get out of my class. But then where shall we go? I'm not coming with you. I meant being the hens. Welcome, welcome. I'm Nigel Friendly, butler of this estate. The lord of the house, Dr. Vernon Nightingale, is expecting you. He's grown a little insane since Prohibition wiped out his family fortune, but never matter. Dr. Nightingale is as hospitable as they come. Oh, R.I.P. Nigel. Oh, no, hold me. Oh, dear me, the good doctor has crossed to the dark side. <laughs> Save yourselves while there's still time. Listen here. Come on, all the way. Roman numerals will provide you your first clue if you can find the box numbered five, one, two. Hmm. Okay. Roman numerals. S five, one, two. Uh, that's okay, the clock's uh, going. Maybe. Uh, Travis knows Roman numerals. Oh. Okay, I think uh, 500 is C or L or is it? Shut up. D X I I. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, my dad's from Rome. Oh. So. Okay. <laughs> I think it's a clue. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. So, Nightingale was the guest of honor at Andrew Volstead's 50th 
birthday. I'm gonna rearrange those books in alphabetical order. <laughs> Why? I think a secret message will appear if I do it just so. Sorry, what was the clue about Andrew Volstead? Because I actually know a lot about prohibition. So maybe if we... Don't worry, babe. I got you. Okay, well, he was born in 1860, so that means that he was... Melinda, to... I know what I'm doing. Here, come read these. Oh, they're numbers. Not you, dude, my date. Uh, let's see. Okay, um, oh, 8, 21. Uh-huh, 14. Yes, got it. Okay, you're cheating. It's called operating on a hunch. Shakespeare did it all the time. All great detectives trust their gut. Do you think Shakespeare was a detective? Do a sex machina, do a sex machina, do a sex machina. Why are you yelling that? Are you pissed that it worked? I didn't know you wanted to stay in this library forever. Dude, you like Googled this or something. Are you calling me a liar in front of my lady? No. I am not his lady. No, we can tell. Uh, I don't like being made fun of. Hey, dude, relax. And time. How do we do? One minute and 21 seconds. What, what? That's a new record. <laughs> nice. By over an hour. You know what? I did YouTube and Escape Room. Mm. It wasn't this one specifically, though, I don't mm. think. We paid $50 for this, and you just ruined it. You loser. How am I a loser? Because you cheated at a game that literally had no consequences. This was supposed to be fun, but I guess you thought I would be impressed if you steamrolled everyone and didn't let us help solve the mystery. Wow. Call me Dr. Nightingale because I've been stabbed in the back. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not the doctor. I'm the butler, and I was stabbed in the chest. Okay, we just need to knock it off right now because I am getting very hangry. saying I rented 20 hens, right? And I returned 15? Okay, so the other five can go out of the security deposit. No, I, I don't know why you only took $20 from me. No, I'm sorry. I mean, the, the hens are gone. We, uh, we, did a, we did a little queen glazing session yesterday, and uh, queen glazing session yesterday, yes. Without getting into too many details, it's basically a way to get pussy using hens. The reason the 10 that I returned to you look so upset and so distraught is because they were not used in the queen glazing, which is a very, very hallowed tradition. They were honorably discharged, let's just put it that way. No, you can't sue me because I'll sue you.